Okay, so this is, uh, I'm gonna start documenting. I'm trying to do album, man. I have a few songs already done. Some lyrics. I mean, they're not professional because I'm not professional. Um, most of my beats or ideas are like, I like to just take a sample and it gives me an idea and work around it. So here's one, I'm, I'm using GarageBand for this whole project. I mean, it's free, it's on my MacBook. I don't have the money on a fucking fixed income to be buying all these expensive thousand dollar, you know, Pro Tools and all of that. So I use GarageBand in stock and I got an account with Spice.com. You know, most, most people that do music know about Spice. You know, no subscription, I can go download samples or listen to uh, ideas or effects or uh, whatever but anyway enough with that so this is the first song well it's not the first song um but i i came up with this these two little samples in uh in actually garage band so the first one was called star power guitar punks one and it's just let's just let's just see how hear how this sounds Okay, nice idea, nice one idea. So, uh, and then I found another one right up it called Star Star Power Guitar Punks O2. Well, not sample loop, and it sounds like this. Uh. So since those two are in, are in the same, um, you know, sounds similar. I mean, they are similar, just some different different card structure or whatever. So I'll just bring the two together. Yeah, that's what they sound like, kind of join them. And I'll just pan one to a little bit to the right one, to the left a little bit to give them his own space. So here's your second part. All right. So that's those two. And, and then I added uh, from the 808 flex, flex kit here in the garage band that's free, you know. I, I just like to use that one because it just has the best little kind of drum kit I can use while finding sample. I, I, I really like I don't like finding drum loops like a, a loop of a bass kick or something. I mean, I do that, but I'm not. Look, I'm not really good at this. I'm good enough. I've taught myself enough in these dolls or whatever to where this Garage Band, FL Studio, Ableton, which I just use the free versions of them or MPC beats or whatever. Or even Magic Music to make it premium, um, which is a piece of crap. But I like the sounds, but it's a, it crashes on you. At least it crashes on me, and I've, I've seen a lot of threads on the internet where it crashes on a lot of people. Okay, so I did, and then I just did the, uh, then I bring in the clap. And I turn it up a little bit in the mix, you know. Okay, that's what the clap. And then I turn the mind up because I know a lot of people bury their clap in the mix. And and one thing, and just like hi hats, I see I see people, a lot of producers on YouTube, they'll they'll put in a nice hi hat pattern. But then when you listen, it's buried. You don't even hardly hear it when we add the hat. And then once everything else comes in, like my hats, I, I'm from the old school. I want to, I'm, I'm like a drum. I want my my hat to be loud, like a drum is actually there, pop, pop, smacking that hat, you know. So let's take it back, and we'll bring in a hi hat on that. Well, actually, let me just let me just let me just play 
Play each one by itself and then we'll put it together. So, so the hat is. Right. And right now I'm going to tell you that. Wait, hold up. That sucks. Because I can. I know I quantized it, but. Uh, what did I quantize that to? It might be 16. Let's try 16. We'll try 16 on that and just see what see what's going on. Right. There we go. So actually, I can go back and, and kind of fill this little uh, drop spot there with with uh, something like that. Damn, what the fuck was that? Why just shit that thing on, bro? Oh, okay. Wait, uh, actually, let's bring that little point back. So here, nope, uh, right here. Yeah, so there we go. And then here, I'll double up on that box right here. Okay, so those two right there, I can actually grab this piece here, and we just copy this this little piece over, and give it a whole another one. Then we just copy that over here. It should work. Okay, so I can live with that. <clears throat> so we can just. Take these out, take these out. out. Get rid of those and just uh, do, do. copy these over here. I'll copy here, make sure we the target here. Let's bring it back over. Okay. So that's basically the hi hat. 
Uh, let me add. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. And I said that hi hat's usually buried, so if I go in here and go and track. control you can always try all right so it's the hi-hat and the kick is really nothing same off the 808 first i just uh I got it thumping. All right, so that's the kick. And a snare from the same kit and... Nope. All right, so, and then for the bass, I use the uh, 808 uh, it comes with it's called an 808 crush bass. I just put a little. Um, I did have some. Wait a minute, did I got the right. I thought I had some distortion on here. Well, I just give it a little pinch, you know, just enough to make it bounce. Yeah, so the 808 is just. Um, All right, it's real simple, 808. I'll play it on my MIDI, on my MPK3 here. And no, so and then the next piece was, um, I did a little classic electric piano, just a little, you know, nothing real fancy. And it goes, it just, it's just when the car it runs. Something fancy. I just left that one out to hang right there. And the next piece we just uh um add this little vocal effects thing. Um A vocal effects thing just to kind of transition it into the the beginning of the beat into the 808 drop okay and then with that i just i just named this uh long road to today i don't know i usually i usually just comes up come up with my titles like i'll write a title out and then the song, like well, I said, the title might be like, you know, down and out, uh, like this long road to today. And well, I know probably a lot of artists, uh, lyricists, lyricists or, or vocalists, when they write, they'll probably write, um, they'll probably write, you know, like some ideas down, like a stanza, same sense, maybe a, a bridge or a hook, and then a second stanza. But I, and then they would say, okay, this this is the this is a theme, or this is what I'm talking about. This, so I'll name it this. Where I get my ideas to write, I'll 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 just do a title like "Long Road Today." All my, all my songs begin with the title first, and then I say, okay, why did I call it that? And I'll try to. So "Long Road Today" uh, is is basically going to be uh, a song about just me, you know, like you know where I started as a young kid. Uh, being adopted or something, you know, uh, moved from New York, grew up in, grew up in, in a little country town named Yo called Yoakum, Texas, named Yoakum, Texas, um, from my, my about five until I was about 12. And then my adopted father, he passed away and left us a little, a little money. And so we moved from there. We used to stay in a shotgun house, right? 
shotgun house. It's like if you go down to the south, they like old plantation shotgun, which means it's it's a straight house. So you come in the front door, it's the, it's the living room, bedroom, and kitchen, and then the back door, right, with an outhouse. So I grew up like that from since I was maybe five until I was probably 11, man, six years, you know, grew up in a little country town, country boy, you know, always around farm, animals, my cousins, you know, just growing up in the sticks, man. So something like that. And then, you know, so the blah, 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 blah. So that, that's basically what I'm going to get the idea for this song. So I don't know exactly how it's going to come out. But yeah, let me play the whole beat for you. And this will be part one of me starting this just on a CD project. I already, I already got, I named it Jesus Was a G. I don't know if I'm going to stick with that, but it seems, it seems you know, Jesus was a G, like, was he a G and like a gangster guy? Yeah, he was, because, you know, to me he was. He's like, you know, the role model model. You know, but. Okay, so let me bring this back. Let me play the whole beat for you, and you can get an idea how it sounds. Let me turn it. Okay. <clears throat> so here we go. You know what that hat that hat sounds really muffled. Let me let me It sounds really muffled, you know, and All right, I'll work it. I'll mix that, but just to give you the idea of the song. So, man, if you guys need any free beats, man, rikiji.com, R-E-K-E-J-E.com. I don't charge nothing for my beats, man. They're just my ideas. Take them and do something with them, man. Bring them to life, man. I just make my beats live, man, like raw. I don't do too much mixing and fucking with them, man, once I have an idea. I always shut I, I give myself a lot of room for, for, for lyrics, you know. Let me bring it back. Thank you. 
That keyboard is sweet. Mellow. Just riding the wave. Yeah, so that basically that's uh, Mr. Th one of the ideas. Said so I have other ideas. I've already put in the songs. Uh, yeah, man. Um, I've been doing music all my life, man. You know, started out when five years old. My mom bought me. Uh, my mother bought me a a little beat up acoustic guitar from somewhere, and kind of self taught myself. Um. Just took it from there, man. I'm going out playing little keyboards, bass, drums a little bit, and can sing my own style. So, never give up your dreams, man. You have to do it by yourself. Do it by yourself. What does it take? Get your laptop, a mon you know, a laptop, a cheap mic on, on YouTube. Man, I even do vocals with this mic. I mean, I got a professional mic back there that I actually do it in the studio with. But for ideas, I just I just do it on this mic right here, man. You know, nothing to it, bro. Um, what else I want to say? Yeah, get your laptop. You can get a lot of any kind of re recording software for free. A mic, some headphones, and find your quiet place to do it. You know, if you can't play keyboards or like that, just get your mini controller, man. Learn, you know, like. Learn basic cards, man, you know, like, you know, or just build samples, man, build drums, if you can't, you know, and just put your ideas down, you know. That's why the music industry is going, is suffering right now, man, because everybody's doing their own stuff, man, and they don't have to depend on, back in the day, man, take a cassette tape and beg somebody, oh, man, look at my song, man, and they say, yeah, 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 and, and throw it in the trash. You have to do that no more, man, you know. Everybody can do it themselves. You got YouTube. Do your own music, man. You know, like on my channel here, um, I'm up, almost up to 400. It took me almost, I've had this Rikiji, my Rikiji YouTube channel up for like probably 2014, dude. Eight years almost. Almost eight years. And I'm almost up to 400 subs, man. And I start out with nothing. And on your music, on music channel, if you're a music producer, anything like that. You know that as well as I do. It's hard to get subscribers, especially when you ain't you ain't had no success in the industry. You're just doing it on your own because why? Because everybody's doing it, right? But if you don't have a following, you ain't you ain't produce nobody. Nobody's gonna really listen to you, man. You know, and sometimes you want to give up. Like I, I, at times, man, I just want to give up. But like I said, you know what? I'm 68 years old, man. I'm gonna do this EP. On my own, I'm gonna put it out on on um, all the platforms. I'm on DistroKid and put it out on all the platforms, you know. And I've always said, God, why have I never been successful? He says, it's "Not in your time, but it's in my time." I said, "Okay." So just I'm just put in the work, man. Put in the work. Peace. I'm out, man. I'll be back with part two of this. Oh.